Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Welcome to the channel. I am so excited about today's video because today I get to show you guys which savings challenges I will be starting off with in the new year. Not only that, we are going to unstuff all of the cash that is in my current savings challenges. We'll find out where all that money is gonna go. We're gonna set up a new savings challenge binder and my cash binders. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys everything. This is going to be such a fun video and don't worry, we are going to be playing Hello Honey today and today's version is called A to Z. You guys ready to get into it? Let's go. Okay, I had to think about it for a second, what we should do first. Let's do the fun part first and let's unstuff all of the cash from the current savings challenges that I am working on. The reason that I'm doing this is I just want to start fresh. It's a new year. I'm sure we all want to, right? We just want to start fresh. I want to have new games. I have new goals. It just feels more exciting, right? Okay, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to put these down on the floor so they're not in my way. Okay, and we'll put the cash tray there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see how much I have and to tell you guys where it's gonna go. Okay, so let's start with this one. Let's just start on stuffing the cash. Empty. Moving on to this one. And next. And now the last one. Ugh. This is the big one. All right, let's empty it out. Hello, honey. I am not going to empty out. So let's move this one out of the way. Okay. That is all of the cash from all of my current savings challenge binders. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, that, that was kind of fun. I uh, was watching this pile up over here and I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so, and this is actually why I'm gonna be changing things up for this year. And you probably already know what I'm gonna say. So let's go ahead and put this money in the tray. Okay, that part was not so fun, but I'm done. So let's check this out. We've gotta see the stack, right? I mean, what's the point of doing all this if you're not gonna check out the stack? It's the best part. Okay, there it is, you guys. There's the stack. All my savings challenge money has been sitting around in some binders. So, as you probably guessed, what am I going to do differently this year? What happens with me is, because my sister is April, I obviously have access to every game she makes. She just sends me whichever ones I want, anytime I want. So that makes it really hard to, first of all, decide which ones I want to play. Second of all, it's hard to stay on track. <laughs> when you're doing it that way, obviously, because this is a little ridiculous. So I think starting in 2024, I'm going to try to be a lot more intentional. And I know, I think I said that for 2023 as well. And um, 
I guess I was more intentional with some things, but man, these savings challenges will make you crazy. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's count it up. I mean, come on, we gotta know how much is here, right? So let's let's count this up and then we'll move on to what I'm gonna be doing in 2024. I'm very excited. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 150, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 5, 10, 50. 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60, 65. And we're going to speed it up with these ones. Fifteen plus twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Okay, our grand total is one thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that much was just dispersed through all of those envelopes. $1,860. I'm so excited. And here is where all of this is going to go. Now, if you watched my cash stuffing, setting up my cash binders for 2024 video, you know that my number one goal, I have three goals for 2024. Number one, and the first one I'm going to complete is saving up my rent payment for my month ahead fund. This is the last one I have. All of the other bills have been fully funded except for this one. So let's see how far I am now. If I take this 1,860, well, I just jump-started my goal number one, didn't I? <laughs> Not even 2024 yet. Yay. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 45, 50. I have 550 to add. And now I have $2,410 in my rent month ahead envelope. That is exciting. Okay, so let me do the math here. I, I'm gonna use some placeholders because I'm gonna put this in the bank. Look at all these, look at all these prop monies that I have. This is insane. I have so many different kinds to you guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is 2410. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all as prop money. Let's see what we've got. Now this honey money that I'm showing is actually old honey money. April's probably gonna kill me for <laughs> showing you guys the old honey money. She just made all new everything and it's so cute. And here I am using the old stuff. Uh, okay, so here's 2000. We need 400. I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. One, two, three, four, and we need a 10. There we go and a 10. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited about this. Okay, so $2,410, yay, is going into, can you tell how happy I am about this? I'm so excited. All right, so that is gonna all go in there. We're gonna close this up. I'm gonna move this out of the way and Let's see, I need to write this down so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna be depositing 2410 for the rent month ahead. Okay, so now that I know the amount and I can mess with the calculator again, let's see how much I need to finish that envelope. So we're gonna subtract 
my rent, which is $34.98. Yikes. So I still need 1000 So I still need $1,088. Not bad. And obviously, if you are putting your money towards bills, you're doing the right thing with it, right? It might not be fun, but it's responsible. So I'm happy, very, very happy about this. So let's move on to taking out of these binders, the games I'm still gonna be using in 2024. Okay, so we're gonna take these all out because I'm not gonna use these colored binders for the beginning of the year. These are very fall colors and they look great for fall, but we are moving on. So let's get rid of these. And I am going to keep the Save 10 Journey. Put this one away, keep this one. Those are a no, yes, 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 definitely yes. This is, I think, my favorite game of all time. No. This is my scratch off envelope. I really should replace that. And these, I think I'm gonna keep as well because they help out when I'm down to just a couple bucks at the end of a savings challenge video. So let's put these to the side and we're gonna take these away. And I think I'm gonna go with this color because it just kind of reminds me of like snow and ice. And I don't know, I just think it's really wintry blue. So let's put these. And as I said, I'm gonna be very simplified <laughs> and time will tell if uh, if I stay simplified. You guys know me, I always start off, you know, saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna be <laughs> really uh, go easy on these savings challenges and then that goes out the window, but. Okay, so in this binder, we have the Save 10 Journey, Strawberry Picnic, Card Castle, Girl Math, Gnome Match, Sunken Treasure, and the Scratch Offs. And just in case you're new, I got to show you our Scratch Offs because my sister makes the best Scratch Offs. I love these. I can't get enough of them. They are so much fun and she just makes them so cute. I love them. Oh, I haven't even started this one yet. The Advent Savings, this one is for the month of December. I'm supposed to be scratching one off every day and I haven't been doing it. So anyway, just in case you haven't seen any of our scratch offs yet, this is what they look like. And those are a staple here at Two Sister Bees. I will always have scratch offs for my Savings Challenge videos. And another staple at Two Sister Bees are our Busy Bee cards. These are awesome. I love them so much. And lately I've been playing them what I've been calling the old school way because the purpose of the Busy Bee cards in the beginning was you play a savings challenge and when you're done with it, you pull a Busy Bee card and this is supposed to challenge you to save just a little bit more for each savings challenge. I actually really like them that way. So I won't be using the dashboard. So I'm going to put that over here in my basket. And I am going to continue to use them in 2024 as boosters for each game. And what games might I be playing? I'm sure you're wondering. But first, we got to get my binder together. So let's move him out of the way. I just made this on Canva just a few minutes ago. I Again, I'm really liking the light blue color right now. So this will be on the front and then this page is just gonna be on the back. And I kept it really simple. It's just a three ring binder here from Walmart. I think I paid three or four bucks for it. So we're just gonna put that in the front. And we'll put this in the back. Okay, there it is. That looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. And I don't know if you can see, but this little savings jar down here, I love that it has a little plant and it says future because it's exactly what I'm doing. My number three goal is retirement. We really, I don't know if you guys know how old I am, but I'm 49, <laughs> just turned 49. And 
I feel like we really need to start focusing on that. So all of this really is for our future. All right, so let me see how we wanna do this. I, I'll put that over there for a second. Now these three games I'm gonna be playing. I just played this last week for you guys. This is a new version of Heads or Tails and I really liked it. So this one is definitely in the lineup. 100 honeys, still working on it. I'm doing this as a 100 envelope challenge. If you're new to Two Sister Bees, this is a freebie game and is linked below. You can do what I'm doing and play it as a traditional 100 envelope challenge. I have envelopes numbered one through 100 here and I put the denomination that's on the jar in the corresponding envelope or you could just do $1 for each jar and have $100 when you're all done. So I'm gonna continue with my 100 envelope challenge, and of course, I'm gonna continue with Hello Honey. So, speaking of Hello Honey, we're not gonna play it quite yet, but I do want to pay up what I owe, because obviously I don't wanna st start the new year in the negative. Okay, so last week, I thought we were on the O. A couple of you said we were on the N, so this is what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna lie, I have not had time to average out your answers for last week either. I did look at your answers and it seems to be in the range, I'm doing a total guesstimate, of $25. I'm probably not that far off. So we're gonna take the 15 and the 25 and I owe a total of 40 for last week. Because I am pretty sure you guys are right and we are probably done with the N and today is gonna to be the E. I am going to take all of these numbers, average them out, and that's what I'm gonna pay for the N. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so I have a total of 142 and I'm gonna divide it by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so divided by seven equals, that is an average of 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $20 there. So I owe 40 and 20, I owe Hello Honey $60. And I'm taking over here, just in case you're wondering, from my savings challenge stack. And here is the 60, let's get the envelope, found it, and let's, Add this in so that I'm all caught up with Hello Honey. Okay, so we're gonna mark off the O and the N. And I should be back with you guys. We should all be on the E now, right? If I'm right, let me know, let me know in the comments that this is right. Okay, so. Let's get back to what I'm doing here, which is setting up the binder. So I've got these three games. The only one that is not hole punched out of these three is this one. So let's do that. And then let's move these out of the way. These are the new games that I'm going to be starting 2024 with. I love all four of these. I think they're beautifully colored. I love what April did with them. Three of the four are redos that she just updated. I love it, especially this one. Okay, so Color Your Savings was one of the first games that April ever created for Two Sister Bees, and she redid it, and I absolutely love the look of this game. I love the watercolors, I love the butterfly, it is just so pretty. And what she did differently this time is she still has the palette up here, but now we can choose which one we wanna save, and we put it in the circle, which gives you a lot more options this time around. So I'm really loving that. And every game in April's Etsy shop comes with an envelope, and they also have trackers on the back. I'm using A5 size, but when you buy one, it comes with A5, A6, and a regular bank style envelope. So you can switch it. Once you have the game, the game is yours forever. You download it, it's on your computer, you can print it out a thousand times. So with that being said, I love that she gives you the option to change envelopes because don't we all just love to change things around with our savings challenges? I know I do. So this is one of my games. Next is good old Wordle. I will never stop playing Wordle. I take breaks, yes, but I don't ever stop. So this is the winter version 
too cute. It's perfect for January. And I'm going to do the, I'm doing the $1 per guess game. So, and we also have a 25 cent version of this available as well. So this is the winter theme. And here is the adorable envelope that goes with it. And the next game is Monthly Party. Again, this is one of our oldies but goodies. And she redid this one too. And I love it. I just love the bright colors that she uses. This is too cute. So this one is based off of the month. In case you haven't seen this, this was one of my favorites when I first started savings challenges. In January, you'll save a dollar a day. So by the time you're done, you will save $31. February is $2 a day, so 28 days is $56, and so on. You just keep going. Some people like to start in January because December is a tough month to get $12 a day. How much is that? Let's see. At Christmas time, that's a tough one. So 12 times 31, that's $372 in one month. So some people like to break it up, move it around, do whatever you want, right? But we'll see how I do this year with monthly party. I'm excited. And envelope for this one. And the last one that I'm going to be starting off January with is snow party. Again, so cute winter themed board game. This one, you just roll your dice and you follow the board. There are different prompts here and there where you add a little extra. So snow party, monthly party, winter themed wordle, and color your savings are going to be my basic savings challenges that are going to go in here. And I mean it, you guys. I'm really going to stay focused on completing games no matter what April <laughs> makes before I move on. It's crazy, you guys. She makes something and then emails it to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to play it. And I just start playing it. So probably not a good idea. Okay, so let's take these. And these are all the ones that I will be starting with. I'm actually gonna put Wordle on the front so that when I play it each day, I don't have to dig for the page. Okay, and I'm probably gonna make maybe some kind of, you know, cover sheet for this, I don't know. And then all my other games, these are all the ones See what I mean about April's savings challenges? All of these, I will put these in later. I'm going to put them in the back and I will have some sort of divider keeping me from the stack in the back, keeping me focused on these in the front. So let's take these and same thing. Let's put these in the front. And I guess you guys will just have to watch every savings challenge video for the rest of the year to see if I really stick with my New Year's resolution of completing these before I start digging into these. Okay, so this is ready to go. And this is ready to go. I'm really loving this, you guys. It's so cute. And I have one more savings challenge to show you guys. Now, as you guys know, I'm doing the 100 Honeys traditional 100 envelope challenge with this box and these envelopes. But I'm also going to do this 100 envelope savings challenge, but I'm going to do it a lot different. This one, I am going to do this one in the way that I'm always telling you guys about. If you have a lower budget and the other one just seems like there is no way you will ever finish it. And I hear a lot of you talk about your patience level. You just don't have it for saving $1, $35, $56. It is a lot and it's $5,050 by the time you're done. So it is quite a feat to do the 100 envelope challenge, but there are so many other ways you could do it. You could just make this like a $5 book, all fives, you would have $500 when you're done filling the envelopes. If you saved $10 in each one, you would save $1,000. So there are a lot of uses to this and there is nothing here that says anything about the amounts that you have to put in each envelope. It just says 100 envelope challenge, that's all it is. So what I'm gonna do is, so like these ones down here, I'll use this one as an example, 61. I'm not going to save $61. 
I'm going to add six plus one and save $7. Down here, seven plus seven, I'm going to save $14. And that's what I'm gonna be putting into the little pouches back here. And what am I gonna do with this when I'm done with it? When I'm completely done with this and I empty it out, I'm gonna take the money that I saved and I'm going to use it to fill up these back ones with these actual amounts, 96, 95, $93. I'm gonna get this filled up by using it in a different way. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it and have you follow along with me. The other thing I wanna let you guys know is I'm actually selling these as packets and the link is below. I have all of these different colors. Each one has its own tracker. I'll show you this one as an example. I made different trackers that match the binders that are inside and each one comes as a bundle and each bundle comes with a pen that matches the binder and each one also has a bank bag that comes with it that matches so check out the description below okay you guys it is time to play hello honey and today's version is called a to z before I forget, if you're new, I should have said this before. This is a game that we play every Sunday on Two Sister Bees. It is different every time. You never know what I'm going to do. I never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so we play something different every week, and this is a free printable. You can click below and print this out and play with us starting today. And as I said, today's version is called A to Z, and we're going to be playing a Christmas version this is also linked below for you guys. You can click and print this out and get ready to play. If you do not have a printer, don't worry. All you have to do is have a paper and pen. This is so simple. So even if you don't have a printer, it's okay. How do you play, Jen? Here are all of the letters of our alphabet and you are going to list anything Christmas, anything that begins with each letter. So I'm gonna give you the first one as an example. A, angel, right? Very Christmassy. So you can pause the video, print this out, or go get your pen and paper. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could either time yourself or take your time and just play. See how many you can actually get. We're gonna make these, I'm gonna make mine worth $1 each. I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna pause the, I'm gonna pause the filming and let's see how I do. I'm going to do a dollar each. You can make them 50 cents each. You can make them worth 25 cents a piece. Whatever you can save, it's up to you. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just shocked myself. I literally went through this in like three minutes. I can't believe I did it that fast. Here are the ones that I wrote down. I wrote Angel, Ball, Christ, Donner, Flake, like snowflake, gift, holy, icicle, jingle, Kris Kringle, Mary, Noel, present, reindeer, Santa, tinsel, vacation, Christmas, and Yule. I can't believe it. I'm still just in shock of myself. But I will say I've always been pretty good at word games. So I guess I shouldn't be that shocked. So I have one, two, three. 19. So I'm going to save $19 so far. Yes, you guys, you know, there's a bonus around for Hello Honey. Add all of yours up. And if you want to save just a little bit more for your Hello Honey today, let's get to this bonus round. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you three questions that are obviously related to Christmas. One will be easy. One will be medium. One will be hard. Question number one. What are you supposed to do when you find yourself under the mistletoe? What do you do under the mistletoe? We kiss. Yes, we kiss under the mistletoe. Question number two. Three of Santa's reindeer's names begin with the letter D. What are those names? Santa's reindeer that start with the letter D. There's three of them. Okay, you guys, we have Dancer. Dasher and Donner. Those are the three reindeer. All right, if you're ready to play the hard question, here it is. What are three alternative names for Santa Claus? 
What are three other names that people call Santa Claus? Write down your answers. Okay, the answers are St. Nicholas, Father Christmas, and Kris Kringle. Those are the other three names that you hear people call Santa Claus. Okay, so obviously I can't add my $3 a piece because I already knew the answers. So you guys know the drill. Put how much you saved just on the bonus round if you played it so that I can average those out and add it to my $19 for Hello Honey today. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to get 2024 started with all of my new savings challenges and of course doing them with you here on Two Sister Bees. It is so much fun for me and this year has been amazing. April and I are so grateful for every single one of you that are in the hive. I want you guys to give yourselves a huge pat on the back. You guys have been doing amazing this year. The comments that we have been getting about all of the accomplishments that you guys are making. It's amazing. You're all amazing. Keep it up. Get your savings challenges ready and let's do it again next year. In the meantime, if you missed my latest video, check it out and keep watching Two Sister Bees.